I'm Brian Hawkins. Welcome to another Sun Outdoors location. Let's go take a look inside this tiny home. So as you first walk in, you get that feel of a very warm, dark wood with the fireplace, the dark leather, the dark flooring, and then you have that bright coloring of the quartz countertops, all the white walls that are around, a lot of natural light with the picture windows above on the high end as well. Couch folds out into a bed. So this one in particular is gonna sleep four, right? So you have the full living room, full kitchen space, I really like how much seating you have, especially for dining area, to have four full stools that are sitting here. And I really like these white quartz countertops. They play really well, and they hold up well for a rental space. One of the unique things is the color of tile. So you don't see a gray backsplash a whole lot, but I really like the lighter tone to go along with the metal for the shelves themselves. But white quartz countertops throughout the home, full-size appliances everywhere with the fridge, range, microwave, dishwasher, really everything that you're gonna need in a space, whether you're living here or in a rental space as well. As we cruise on back down the hallway, washer dryer, so stackable apartment style, but it's always nice to have that convenience, especially if you're here with a couple of the kids, it's nice to have, be able to do your laundry. And then as you follow me in, two doors in and out of the bathroom as you come in. So stand up shower with the tile backsplash everywhere for that. Again, with the white quartz on the vanity for the bathroom. Really cool sliding door for the shower itself. And then we'll cruise on back to the bedroom. Main level bedroom in this home. I really, really like this piece. Hanging over the top. That's a really cool take on, on the American flag for that. But queen size bed, end tables on both sides, a lot of storage space. You have a little TV here off to the side as well but cabinets everywhere, extra closet space for hanging your clothes, putting a suitcase, really anything that you need in here. And then a little more natural light as it comes in. So still a nice, soft, warm feel coming throughout the home with the white walls, white ceilings, white doors. And then you add the darker colors for the floors, the cabinets, the leather. I like it, I like it a lot. So this one in particular has a breezeway between the two different homes. Really cool area to kind of sit, hang out when it's sunny outside. Right now it's raining, but let's go take a look at the other side of this tiny home. I really like the ambiance outside. If it wasn't raining, this would be a fantastic spot for the family, just kind of hang out and chill, take in the nice breeze as you go through. And then as we walk into this tiny home, we're gonna take a right. You're gonna pass your mudroom area, be able to hang up all your clothes, boots, everything below. And then as you walk into the bedroom, you also have another queen size bed, end tables on both sides. I love picture windows so much. Plenty of natural light coming in and out of the home. And then for his and her storage, closets on both sides, nice and convenient. So as we're headed out to the living room, you have bathroom on the right hand side, again with the white quartz countertop, stand up shower with a really cool glass sliding door. And then as you head out here into the kitchen, you carry on that white quartz countertop with the backsplash, metal hanging shelves, really cool little microwave that pops up on these tiny homes. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but Whirlpool, well done. And then as you come back in, this one will also sleep four. So you have the, the main level bedroom there that has a queen size bed, another queen size bed that pops out of the couch. I just love the overall rustic feel and look of these homes. I love the ski town look of everything, having the skis in the corner, all the posters that are here, that dark rug, the dark leather, everything that goes through that. And then one of my absolute favorites with all of these homes are all the decks on the outside. So as you walk outside, you get to take in that nice little breeze, the nice air. Let's walk through another tiny home option they have here at the resort. So as you walk in, this has a very rustic feel. So you have the exposed pine, tongue groove pine throughout the entire home, both for the casings on the windows and the walls and the ceilings. You still have a laminate flooring that goes throughout. And then you have a darker color couch for the leather and this folds out so you can have two more kids sleep here as well. This tiny home in particular can sleep six. As crazy as that sounds, you have a tiny home that can sleep six people, I promise, it's real. So galley kitchen, darker appliances, but still full size appliances. A microwave range, double basin sink and the full size fridge. And then right here to your left, my right, pocket doors coming in and you actually have bunk beds in here. So you have a full size bed on the bottom, twin bed up top, and then you have storage to the left to hang a couple of clothes, put suitcases, sit down, get your socks on, all that kind of stuff. As you come back this way, 
you have another main level bedroom here, and this is a queen size bed. So you still have a TV over the top, sconches on, on, above the bed for lights, small end tables with USB ports to be able to charge your phone throughout the night in case you forget your adapter, which we all do. Don't act like you don't. Uh, but again, queen size bed, little place to hang your clothes, suitcases, sit down, get your clothes on and off again as well. You guys, this is an awesome little tiny home setup. Last thing in here is the bathroom. Straight ahead over here. Stand up shower, pocket doors getting in and out. Tile surround for the shower itself. But as we go through all these tiny homes here at River Run Resort in Granby, Colorado, they're just very well put together homes. And especially for six people, to have a tiny home that's less than 400 square feet fit six people and have all six people actually be able to put their luggage, their clothes, their food, drinks, whatever else here, it's fantastic. There's so much to do here at Granby, Colorado, you guys. My family's had a fantastic time while we've been here for three days. All the activities are available here at River Run Resort in Granby, Colorado. You have things like the event center, which has an arcade inside, a restaurant and bar inside. You have a bowling alley inside. You have a swimming pool with three different jacuzzis that are available for the whole family to just kind of hang out and lounge by the pool all day. You have an awesome pond that's enormous out here to go kayaking, canoeing, fishing. There's a lot of stuff to do right on the lake as well. You have some really cool hot springs that are only about 15 minutes down the road here from Granby. You have some really cool hikes. You have Granby Lake that's right up the road that's only 10 minutes from here as well. That's another great place to take your kayak or paddle boarding, anything else like that. One of the things that my kids love most here is kind of the kids zone and area. You have a really cool little playground a bouncy house type area that kids can run on all day, whether it's wet outside like it is today and raining or it's dry. You have pickleball courts, you have basketball courts, you have sand volleyball that's there as well. You have a, a small putting green. You have a fitness center that you can get any of your exercise in if you don't want to just walk around doing laps out in nature and you want to really work out inside on that treadmill. That's an awesome option for you as well. You have two different bars that are here at two different locations, one right next to the pool and one by the general store everybody's here to have a good time. So you gotta have something for everybody. Doesn't matter if it's by the pool or at the bar, everyone's got an option while you're here. There are so many things to do here, whether you're with your kids or just by yourself, that you're gonna run out of time and your stay in one of your tiny homes before you run out of amenities or activities to do. Out here in Granby, Colorado, make sure to follow us to the next location. We'll see you guys.